Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you've uh, been keeping up with the channel, you know the last video we changed out the front seal and the front pump bearing in the TH400. And as I've been studying more videos and watching more content on the TH400, I saw where guys were talking about the converter charge pressure that's in the front pump causing too much pressure on the flex plate on the LS engine and it wears out the thrust bearing. So once again, we're gonna pull the front pump I'm gonna drill and put an orifice plug in. It's actually a set screw with a hole in it. And that's supposed to remedy that. Now, obviously when we get all that installed and in the truck, we'll have to check the pressures. It may have to come out and another size orifice go in it. I don't know yet, but we're gonna start with what I have researched on multiple videos. So I'm gonna pull the pump out, get it apart and show you what I'm talking about. We'll get it over here on the shop bench and take a look at it. Okay, from my understanding, all the YouTube videos and articles I read, this hole right here where my screwdriver's at is where the converter charge pressure comes out and it puts out too much pressure into the torque converter, pushing on the flex plate in turn, pushing on the crankshaft on your thrust bearings and your LS engine. So, especially if you have a trans brake. So, the fix is to get a 5 16 18 thread set screw, and this one's three eighths of an inch long, and I'm going to drill it with a 764 drill bit. That's about 109 thousandths. That's where we're gonna start at. And obviously when we get this in the truck, we'll put a pressure gauge and see what it's at and match it up with what it needs to be. I'm gonna have to do some research and, and find what actually dial, dials this in, what pressure gets it where it needs to be. But what you're gonna need is this set screw, 5 16 18 thread. You're gonna need a tap, 5 16 18, and from all the videos, other videos I watched, you do not have to drill this, you just have to tap it. This tap will fit perfectly. Then we'll take a 764 drill bit, put the orifice in here with some red Loctite 263, and it's got to go, this set screw, when, once it's in here, has to be below the surface of this, very important. If you watch my last video, you have to have a band to put your pump back together. And I've got that band right here. As you can see, well, let me get it out of here. You can see the band that squeezes your stator housing and your front pump housing together. If you didn't see the last video where I showed you how to use this, I'll put a card up right here and up at the top of the screen and you can see how that goes back together. So I'm gonna get set up. I'm gonna drill out my set screw get it ready to go in here and get this tapped. And this should be a pretty short video. So stick around guys. guys we got our hole tapped last thing to do is put our set screw in we did get a hole drilled through it i recommend buying multiple drill bits because you will uh, break or dull multiple so we're gonna put some red loctite on here put this back in here make sure it's flush or below this flush surface and then we'll put the two pump pads back together i'll probably do that off video but again if you haven't watched the last video and seen how to put the pump halves back together with this band, I'll try to put another card 
up here so that you can reference that video on how to put this the stator and the second pump half back together. So let me get this done and we'll end this video out. There you have it guys, the set screw is in. Mine is a little deeper than the ones I've seen online. Most guys have it just below the, the this surface here. You can see I've got a few extra threads, but when you do this, you don't want it to uh, go real deep, probably not as deep as I did. It did bottom out, but it's not all the way through into the housing here. I didn't tap it all the way down. There is a lip down there for that to tighten up on. So that's as deep as I went. I wished I would have, you know, got it, the threads back up here, up to the top, but that'll be fine. It's not going anywhere. We got the red Loctite 263 on there and that's it. Check out the videos when they talk, talk about converter, uh, pressure, charge pressure coming out of that hole. Uh, I watched a lot of informational videos on YouTube. It was what caused me to decide or made me decide to do this. So quick video. Um, I did have to put that. Uh, you saw my, I drilled out a piece of wood and put my set screw down in it so it wouldn't spin. I wouldn't put it in the vise and, and mess the teeth of the set screw up and get you a couple of drill bits because it is, it is hard material. Um, I heard another YouTube channel say if you could find brass set screws, I couldn't find any locally, and if you order them, they want 25 to a pack, and they're 40 or 50 bucks. So a couple of $3 drill bits, and you can power through that set screw. So that's what I did. Thanks for stopping in. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. We'll catch you in the next video.